Okay, I'm back. We are in the textbook, Adobe InDesign Revealed, Creative Cloud by Chris Botello. We're in Chapter 7, and we're starting on an exercise on page 7-29, using a polygon as an anchored object. So number one, we're going to go to the um, Layers panel. Excuse me. And we're going to drag the text layer to the top of the Layers panel. We're going to click the tin pointed polygon in the pasteboard. It must be this one that I tried to put the sky in earlier. We're going to go to edit on the menu bar and do cut. And then we're going to click the type tool. We're going to click the space between the words kids and we're. And then we're going to do edit and paste. As shown in figure 50, the polygon is pasted into the block of text. We're going to press the space bar to create a space after the anchored object. We're, uh, then we're going to position our cursor before the graphic. And then press space, whoops, let's see. Press space bar again. And then we're going to select the graphic. And the two spaces as well. And the way that I'm going to do that is I am going to get the type to it again, sorry, and I am going to highlight that. So we're going to get the click drag and drag. So we have both the graphic and the two spaces selected. On the character panel we are going to type minus three in the baseline shift box. Let's go up to the character panel so we can actually see what we're doing. Here's the baseline shift and it's going to be a minus three. And then press enter. If you're on a Windows, return if you're on a Mac. And the anchored object is positioned more in line with the text. With the space, graphic space still selected, we're going to go to edit on the menu bar. We're going to click copy. And then we're going to click the space between the words school and door. And we're going to do edit and paste. We're going to click between the, the space between the words costume and bring. and then we're going to click paste again. Select the words we're having. And we're going to type it's and do a command or control S to save our work. As shown in figure 52, when the text is edited, the anchor objects, anchored objects reflow with the text, which is exactly what they did. Now we're going to position type on a line. We're on page 7-32 in the text. And we're going to click the uh, selection tool, which I already have my selection tool. And then we're going to click this yellow diagonal line. We're going to click type on a path tool. Then we're going to position the pointer over the yellow line until a plus sign appears beside it. We're going to click the yellow line and a blinking 
tight cursor appears at the top of the yellow line, which it does, and we're going to type the word happy in lowercase letters as shown in figure 58 or mine on the screen. We're going to double click happy. Actually, I'm going to click and drag to select it. We're going to change the font to impact. We're going to change the font size to 60. And then we're going to change the fill color to paper on the swatches panel. We're going to get the selection tool and we're going to select the text. And you'll see that the fill panel uh, changes to none and the stroke panel changes to yellow because there are attributes of the line that the type is positioned on, not the type itself. That's the attributes that's showing now in the panel. We're going to change the stroke to none, and we're going to position the word happy as shown in figure 59. <coughs> is assuming we can, which we of course can. We're going to press and hold Shift and Alt if you're on a Windows or Shift and Option if you're on a Mac. <clears throat> and then we're going to drag a copy of the word happy into the blue area beneath the orange triangle. We're going to again get the Type on a Path tool. We're going to highlight the secondary word happy and we're going to type Halloween. We're going to get the Selection tool and then we're going to position the word Halloween as shown in figure 60 or you'll see on my screen in just a moment. Right now we're going to get the selection tool and select the happy text. We're going to click type on the menu bar. We're going to do create outlines. We're going to click Halloween. We're going to go to type on the menu bar and click create outlines. We're going to get the direct selection tool. And figure 61 shows that the Halloween text has been converted into nine paths. We're going to click the deselection tool or we're going to click on the artboard to deselect, get the selection tool, and then click the word happy. We're going to go to file on the menu bar. We're going to go to place. We're going to navigate to our data files and place bluecloud.tiff. We're going to go to object down to fitting and fit content to frame. Hmm, I did that wrong. Object, fitting, and we want to fit content to frame. There we go. Deselect all.
we are going to uh, verify that the selection tool is selected. We're going to select the orange clouds graphic visible as a triangle in the top right hand corner of the document. We're going to go to edit on the menu bar and click copy. We're going to click the Halloween Go to edit, and then we're going to click paste into. Yeah, I didn't have that selected correctly. Let's see if we can do that again. We want to get the word Halloween. Go to edit and paste into. There we go. Compare your page to figure 62 in the textbook or mine on the screen. Do Command or Control S to save your work, and we can close out this document as well. And that's it for the demos. The rest of the work will be on your shoulders. The skills review starting on page 7-34. Let me know if you have any need for additional demos, though. Thank you, and we'll see you later.